What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over six different ways to use Google Trends to enhance your SEO. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be entering a search term or a topic. So we're going to start here, let's say I sell beach chairs. So I'm getting ready to sell beach chairs, I'm going to look up the search term beach chairs to see when people are searching for that the most. So we could see right here through the past 12 months, June, July starts to increase in April we see kind of a peak here in March very low rest of the year so we're seeing basically from about March until the end of September people are probably gonna buy, be buying beach chairs but for the most part we want to capture them during this this rush right here so we're looking at the United States past 12 months so the first thing you can do with SEO is understand seasonality if we look at the past five years we're just looking at beach chair as a search term you can see the peak June to July 6th every single year so it's gonna end up being right around June it looks like it's peaking every single year seeing the same time it's peaking so we know when we need to focus our SEO efforts we know that during these slow times we need to really really be focused on our SEO so we could take advantage of these major rises in people searching for beach chairs because we want to sell them our beach chairs we want to rank high in search engines no matter what they're searching so that's how you can use seasonality and use demand to drive your SEO strategy so that's gonna bring us to number two and number two is going to be that you can actually look at what people are searching so let's use Shopify this time we'll use the topic of Shopify so anybody who is looking up the topic of Shopify in the United States what you can do is look at web search image search news search YouTube search to come up with different trending ideas so as we scroll down here we're looking at related queries right now we're looking at the Google web search engine so some related search terms that are rising so you can see if I'm covering Shopify whether I'm covering the platform or I'm covering Shopify as news in general you can see some of these different related search terms a lot of people focused on the Shopify stock probably comparing it to the meta stock so as we come down here all a lot of this related to the stock in terms of rising so now let's look at top search queries related to Shopify stock store app website my Shopify what is Shopify stock price you can see if we're looking at Google Trends we're gonna find a lot of ideas related to Shopify and the actual stock itself but you're gonna see here theme shipping drop shipping so you can come up with some different video ideas about some of the top themes that people can use different themes for different types of websites some different shipping apps that people can use with Shopify so if you're searching a specific topic here you can also adjust the search engine so let's go into YouTube search and let's see if we scroll down here if I have a YouTube channel I want to make sure I'm creating videos about uh, Shopify so drop shipping 2022 CJ probably Commission Junction drop shipping Shopify analytics Google Analytics how to cancel Shopify so that's another video right there is Shopify worth it that's a video Shopify meta fields that's a video automation that's a video so how to change the store name so you can come up with a lot of different ideas just by looking at different search engines and creating content specific for those search engines so let's see image search if people are actually searching for different Shopify so the logo website stock not too much here as far as image search but you can see the power between going from web search to YouTube search to news search and seeing some of these different topics or search terms that we're looking up and what is rising in these different search engines because when you're looking at Google Trends data and you're looking at YouTube search this data is all gonna be geared around the YouTube search engine whereas this is all gonna be geared around the web search engine so you want to make sure that you're looking up the right search engine depending on what type of content you're creating now that's gonna bring us to number three and number three is the overall trend and the interest over time so let's just say for example I'm looking up farmhouse decor so I have a farmhouse decor website so I want to see how has farmhouse decor trended and let's say let's look at the past let's look at all the data we have available to us and see how it's trended so what you can see is for a long period of time farmhouse decor basically no interest at all very very low interest and then we're seeing a major 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 increase in farmhouse decor and you can see it peaks here in January 2021 and then we're kind of seeing pretty steady results from that point so looking at all of this data we're it's a little bit too much data so if we just look at the past five years for example what we can see is farmhouse as 
been pretty steady over time. We've seen a few times where it's peaked, but it's kind of has a pretty steady interest at this point. But if you're looking at all time data, there was clearly a point where people became much more interested in farmhouse decor. I think it kind of ties to Chip and Joanna Gaines because they're so popular and that's the type of decor that they use. So you can see kind of the trend over time for certain types of topics. And one thing that you can use this information for is let's just say I'm creating content for my YouTube channel and I don't know whether to create content about TikTok ads. So let's use the search term here. I don't know whether to use create content about TikTok ads or maybe I want to create content about Pinterest ads. Maybe I want to create content about YouTube ads or maybe LinkedIn ads. Okay, so we can compare these different search terms here. So we have four different search terms that we're comparing. And what you're gonna see is right now, YouTube ads is dominating this. So I know, okay, if I'm gonna create content around these different types of topics, then let's start with YouTube. Now after YouTube, let's remove YouTube from here. So we have TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Maybe I wanna create some videos about, let's say Microsoft advertising. So formerly Bing ads, let's say use Microsoft advertising, use the search term. And maybe I just enter Bing ads here as well because people still search Bing ads a lot. So we're looking at these five different search terms. And what we can see here is a major growth in TikTok ads. So we're seeing a huge level of interest in TikTok ads. So that's clearly the next thing I should create content for. And then after that, it looks like LinkedIn ads is more popular than these other in terms of just looking at this main search term here. So we can kind of gather from looking at these main search terms. For example, if I get rid of Bing ads, we'll remove this. See Microsoft advertising all the way at the bottom. Bing ads is still more popular than Microsoft advertising. Even though it's the same platform, people still refer to it as Bing ads. So we have Google ads here. And what you're going to see is just dominates all of these other advertising platforms because it's the biggest platform. It's been around forever. So you're able to see some of these trends over time and you can compare multiple search terms to kind of come up with an idea of, okay, maybe I should focus on this first because this is going to help me kind of take advantage of the popularity in this search term compared to some of these other search terms. So you can see there's clearly a lot more search volume and a lot more people searching for Google ads compared to these other platforms, but you are seeing TikTok ads grow. You see LinkedIn ads here is, is popular than the others as well. So it kind of helps guide your decision of what should we create content about? So that's number three. You can see the interest in trends over time, and you can also compare multiple interests to see which one would be better to use by looking at some of these trends over time. So let's come back to Google Trends here. So for number three and four, we looked at the trends and the interest over time and then how we can compare multiple trends to see the overall popularity to kind of guide our decision on what is actually more trending, what's more popular, especially if we look at a larger set of data over the past five years, for example. So let's use, so you can see the Taylor Swift here, obviously that she just had some, some ticketing issues with Ticketmaster. So you're seeing a huge level of interest here. So you might get that with, Google Trends that there may be some of these massive, massive spikes. And if you see something like this, you should always kind of look at, okay, what happened? Maybe do a few quick Google searches to kind of understand if you're comparing multiple things, what actually happened. But the next thing I want to go over is going to be the related search queries that you get. So we're going to come back to farmhouse and I'm just going to enter farmhouse here. I'm going to use the farmhouse topic. So we're using farmhouse topic. We're looking at United States past 12 months web search. So as we scroll down here, one of the things you could use are related topics. So related topics allow you to find, specifically use the top topics, the most related categories based on the topic that we entered. So I enter farmhouse. I have a farmhouse website. So I need to understand what types of products are people looking for in a farmhouse. So table, people are looking for stuff for their kitchen, sinks, so ideas, people are a lot probably looking for images that give them inspiration for their own homes. Come down here. So dining room, we have farmhouse kitchen, wall, so wall decorations, farmhouse bathroom. So just by looking at related topics, I can come up with a ton of different ideas here of different things that I need to cover on my website. Wood, so specifically farmhouse wood decorations, farmhouse wood furniture. So anything related to wood and a farmhouse, I need to make sure that I use that to come up with some different keywords that people are searching for. White, door, furniture, cabinetry, these are all different things that I can cover on my farmhouse decor, farmhouse furniture website. 
So related topics can give you a ton of different ideas. And the other way that you can use related topics that I really like is let's just say, for example, I want to create content for farmhouse bathroom. So I'm, I'm focused on the keyword farmhouse bathrooms. So what I need to do is understand the farmhouse topic and also the bathroom topic. So if I'm just looking at the bathroom topic, I can gather that, okay, the things people are searching for in a bathroom in general, regardless of whatever style their home is, I can assume people are searching for a farmhouse style in that too. So what I mean by that is if we're looking up related topics, we go to top, we're looking up related queries, we go to top. What we can see is people in a bathroom are looking for a vanity, a sink, you can see shower, tile, faucet. Over here, you can see vanity, sink, bathtub, tile, shower. So all of these are different things that I need to cover on my page about farmhouse bathrooms. So if I'm putting together content related to farmhouse bathrooms, I need to make sure that people understand, okay, here's some farmhouse bathroom wall decor you love. Here's 10 different ideas you can use as you're putting together your farmhouse bathroom. Here's 10 of our favorite farmhouse bathroom cabinets. So you can look up all of these different topics here to come up with exactly what goes into a specific bathroom. So you can take one topic and break it down into even more topics. So even if I go to cabinetry, let's say I'm, I'm talking about farmhouse style cabinetry, we scroll to the bottom, related topics, we go to top, kitchen cabinet, paint, bathroom cabinet, so we can adjust by different locations in the house, kitchen and bathroom, paint, so basically what type of paint colors on a cabinet are the most popular, wood cabinets, storage cabinets, white cabinets, filing cabinets. So if I'm writing about farmhouse cabinets, I have a ton of different ideas to write about. This is a great way by using Google Trends to come up and look at categories and subcategories because it can be so hard to find categories for your website. By seeing some of these topics in Google Trends, we're able to understand every little bit of detail that goes into a bathroom, that goes into cabinetry. If I click on sink, I'm gonna get a ton of related topics as well that could be really useful for me too that I can use as I'm coming up with my SEO strategy and creating SEO content. So that's gonna be number five is going to be just looking up some of these related topics here and by breaking down a topic more and more. So we're looking at a sink. So you have kitchen sink, bathroom sink, tap coming over. There's still 25 topics for this stainless steel, drain, vanity, steel, things you may never think about. You may be writing content about sinks and never even think about, okay, I can also write about, here's some different drains that go well with the sink. Here are a farmhouse style drain that you can put in your sink today. So I can come up with some of these different ideas by just using these related topics. Now related queries, this is probably the best part of Google Trends and you can use this for literally any niche that you have. So if I enter farmhouse again, we use this as a topic and I'm just starting to create my SEO keyword list. I'm trying to understand what the most popular related queries are. Instead of looking at rising, so rising can be really useful as well, but instead of looking at rising, let's look at top. So when I'm starting to create content for my farmhouse decor website, I know people are looking for information about modern farmhouse, about kitchens, about tables, sinks, decorations, white decorations, different styles. Furniture, bathroom, rustic, plans, these are all major, major topics related to farmhouse decor where if I put a great page on my website saying, here are some different farmhouse plans that you can use for your inspiration. Here are 20 different farmhouse plans that you won't regret using. So you can see all of these different related queries here. And then as you're coming in here to some of these different related search queries, if I see farmhouse dining table, for example, I can click on this. It's going to open up the Google Trends page for the search term farmhouse dining table. Past 12 months, I can see the most related queries and top. So you can see sets here, dining set, dining table set, but dining chairs. Keep coming up with more and more ideas. So wood, modern. What you're looking for here is essentially subcategories of the main keyword that you're entering or another way to look at it. With topics and the other related topics, you're looking at categories and subcategories. And with some of these related queries, what you're doing is you're starting with a short tail keyword, something like dining table, and then you're making these long tail keywords, farmhouse dining tables, modern farmhouse dining tables. These can all be different pages of products listed for sale and to take it one step further. So if I'm saying, I wanna rank for the keyword round farmhouse dining table, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and what we want to see is what's ranking. So if I scroll down here, if we're looking at what's ranking, so at the very top are going to be images. So images are ranking at the very top and then we have Etsy. So round farmhouse table. So this is going to be just a list of products, Amazon, a list of products, overstock, a list of products. So what I need in my farmhouse shop is a subcategory for round farmhouse dining tables so that I can rank for that keyword as well and hopefully get my website on this first page, making sure that I'm high enough so that maybe I'm above this Pinterest result here, here eight best farmhouse round dining table ideas, but you also see lows right beneath that. So trying to rank above some of these other competitors is a really tough task. So that's why you really need to focus on finding these long tail keywords so that you can create specific content for people who are looking for something specific that these massive companies have not worked on on their own website yet. So if we come back over here to Google Trends, for example, and let's just say I'm looking up the search term. So we'll say farmhouse bathroom, the example we used earlier. So farmhouse bathroom search term coming down here. Let's look at some of the top related queries. So we're seeing sinks ideas so let's say i want to rank for farmhouse bathroom ideas let's see what's ranking for that okay again at the very top we have images here but as we scroll down we have people also ask and then now we're getting into so house.com farmhouse bathroom ideas and designs 26 best farmhouse bathroom design ideas keep coming down 26 modern farmhouse bathroom ideas that are timeless 900 best farmhouse bathroom so you're seeing and now we have some popular products here and then we have so you can see the search intent for some of these different keywords. Farmhouse bathroom ideas, people want different pictures, different ideas for their own farmhouse bathroom. Somebody who's searching for something like farmhouse bathroom wall decor, for example, is gonna be looking for a list of products for sale like Amazon, like Etsy, like Walmart, like Home Depot, Wayfair, whatever it may be. So understanding search intent for the different keywords that you're targeting can be really useful for these related queries. So taking your SEO one step further by using related topics and using related queries, see what's ranking, see what people are essentially looking for with their search intent, depending on the keywords that they're entering. Because you need to understand that somebody looking for farmhouse bathroom wall decor is probably not looking for some type of inspiration style page. They're probably looking for a list of a ton of different products for sale. And maybe at the bottom of all those products, you have some type of here's how to choose the best wall decor for your bathroom. So hopefully that makes sense. These are six different ways that you can use Google Trends to enhance your SEO, including related queries, related topics, understanding trends over time, comparing multiple trends against each other and seeing what is more popular in terms of different search terms or different topics, see the overall interest over time and see if any of them are glaringly more popular or less popular, something you should be focused on, or if they're kind of stay similar over time. So here you would see just a little bit for farmhouse bathroom, but that's about it. And then also understanding these different, the interest in some of these different trends over time and seeing if things are falling, things are increasing. So if you're seeing increases like this, then you know that's a topic you wanna to go after because it's, it's becoming more and more trendy, it's becoming more and more popular, and it should end up being a fair, fairly popular topic forever. So looking at some of these different ideas, adjusting by different search engines, so people who are looking up web search compared to people who are looking up Google Shopping, so people may be looking for different products for sale versus people who are looking for inspiration. So if we look at the top related queries, we're seeing all these product different base keywords. So some of the different ways you can look at the information by looking at different search engines. And then last but not least, understanding seasonality over time, seeing if things peak or valley at specific times of the year. Great example here is anything, any type of beach. So we do beach chairs, beach towels, anything like that. You know that people are gonna be looking for that stuff way more when they're going to the beach, which is always gonna be in the summer. So in the winter, people are not looking to buy beach chairs that often. So some different ways you can use Google Trends to understand your own business a little bit better, to understand when you should activate your content strategy. For example, you should be creating content when it's down like this so that you can take advantage of these up points. And then you just, when you're getting to these up points, all you need to do is make sure that you're keeping your content fresh, relevant, high quality, and make sure you're ranking as high as possible when you are looking at yourself in the Google search engine. So. If you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.